What's up? Thanks for visiting scottfound.com. Chest bump. Okay, we're going to do a little plate circuit. Now, you can do this as a couple things. You can use it as a warm up, you can use it as a full body workout as if you go through it multiple times, or you could use it as, say, your team's coming back from vacation and you want to set the tone. Everything could be on you as a cadence, making sure that they're counting as a team. Anytime the plate touches the ground, you start over. If the guy misses a rep or doesn't count, you can have him start over as well. Just kind of set the tone. We're going to go from an upper body exercise to a lower body exercise. And the first one we're going to do, we're just using a plate. You can use 25 pound plate, 10 pound plate, whatever you want and build up. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is shoulder press, back straight. And we're just going to press it up, head through the window. So I'm here, knees bent, core tight, head through the window. So that's the first one. Then we're going to go right into a front squat. So the plate's right here underneath my chin. Pushing those knees out, toes out. Pressing up through. Next one we're going to do is lunge with a rotation. I'm going to take a reverse step, relax that back leg. I'm going to come down, cross. So, big step back. Whatever leg's in front, I'm going to cross across that leg. Lunge, cross. Right into a bent row. Knees bent, back straight. Pull into your belly button. Right here on the bent row. Then we're going to transition into side lunge with the press. So big step to the side. Knees bent, weight back. Press. Big step to the side. Press. And we're going to go right into the upright row. So we're here. Boom. Pull. These are bent. Take pressure off the back. Then we got RDL, so we're here, we're hanging, down mid shin, pull back with the hamstrings and glutes, flex the glutes, weights back, knees slightly bent, back is flat to the ground by lifting straight ahead, so work those hamstrings. We got curls, so we're here, curling. Okay, pretty simple exercise. We're going to take it to the ground. We're going to do a fork and low triceps, floor press, to a core exercise. That's good. Elbow touches the ground, press, and then we're up, head through the window. Elbow touches, press, and we're up. Once we're done with that, we can go right into the Russian twist. So you can yell, twist, twist, twist when they're on it. Here we're here. We're going to twist to the right, twist to the left. Finish it with a little glute action. Okay, we're here. Do this down, okay, down on the ground, and then do this push it through those heels, flexing those glutes. Working those glutes, okay, hip thrust and plate. Again, so it's a little plate circuit. If you're doing it as a workout, maybe six the first time through, six reps at each spot. Then the next week, eight, and then 10. If you're doing it as a warm up, maybe five reps at each spot one time through. And if you're doing it as a, as a cadence or to set the tone, hit the reset button as a coach with your players, you can do as many as you want. Just make sure you have a purpose, you understand why you're doing it, and what the purpose is for, for, that, uh, for that situation and, and how you're going to break it down to your athletes and explain it to them. The more they know why, the more it's going to be relative to them as far as going into the next phases and all that stuff. Thanks for visiting scottdown.com, create a great day.